place, one a KOM, here's a guide. So, first we have the Tour of Richmond Park. This is a classic segment, uh, which has, let's see how many people it has, it has 40, 43,000 attempts, right? I'm 1,305. There's absolutely no way I'd ever get the KON. The person who did it was on a TT bike and hit like 400 watts or whatever, and everyone else was in a group. There's absolutely mad wattages. So, top tip for one of these segments, let's say you want to get a, a loop, we'll just try a different loop here. So, instead of going all the way down um, to the bottom, this is the Fixie Lab. Um, Okay, I haven't gone for a KOM, but I'm now 455 out of 4,261. 4, so it's like 10% less people on the segment. So that's a good tip number one. Choose a less popular loop. Tip number two is choose to do repeats of a hill. So here we go, Swain's Lane. KOM, uh, there's 10,581 attempts. The KOM has some incredible wattage. Could I get close? Maybe, but it will be tough. It would definitely be tough to do that. I've never really gone full gas all the way, but anyway, but that's irrelevant. And then we go on ten times Muswell Hill or whatever it is, and there's only five hundred eighty-one people, or the five times version. So here you go up the hill and then round and up and hill, uh, up and round, and that basically just reduces the number of people doing it. So that's a great way of getting a KOM in a populated place. Don't just do it on one climb, but do it on multiple climbs. We also have Broomfield Hill here, which again is in Richmond Park. And there's something ridiculous, like 54,000 people. I mean, it's like getting a KOM, you have to be like a domestic professional, like Ed Bradbury, to get a KOM. Or, if you want to get a KOM on the five-pack, then Will Barker seems to have picked up on this. And just do go up to the top of the hill, turn around, come back, do that five times, and you're probably going to get a KOM. My next segment uh, is in, if you're in the mountains, let's say. So I went to the Alps and Pyrenees over the summer and realised that I was never going to get a KOM up the Tourmalet as Robert Hessing, who put out 380 watts or whatever it was for 47 minutes, weighing like that's well over five, five and a half watts per kilo. So that's pretty hard for me to do. Or actually, it might just be about five. For, anyway, to get top 10, you need to be hitting about five or more watts per kilo for about... 48 minutes, and that's a little bit beyond me at the moment. So what did I do? Go up some dodge gravel climb. So here we go, the Col de Estiver, par rebuc. Got the KOM. Uh, pretty easy, to be honest, because literally no one else did it. I mean, I did 215 watts of 40 minutes, and I got off my bike halfway up. That's another easy way. Obviously, it doesn't have the same prestige, but I still have a KOM in the Pyrenees. Not many people can say that. And then these are the last two segments that I have, and these are the sort. Of, the, that's that's tip number two. Go for a weird. Sorry, tip number three. Go for a weird climb. Uh, add gravel. Uh, so if you go add gravel for a road bike, and that's also quite adv advantageous. So here we go on another one of my tips, which is to go um, on dangerous routes. I mean, I wouldn't advise this, and if you crash, don't blame me. But on this route, it's a straight thing, and then you have basically it's like these blind corners. Um, and it's quite hard to go fast unless you take some risks. So, for instance, me, there's only 23 people who did it, but I got the KOM. Uh, it's quite easy just because everyone else was a bit worried about crashing. So there you go. And then the other one is going across a railway track. So you go across the railway track here, turn left, then you have to. there's a roundabout here, so you have to go past that. There's another like road there. Um, now you get the KOM, average speed 35 k's an hour, so you can see... That was quite good. Only 2,200 people did it. And I'll find another one where the, for the gravel. So that's, I can't even remember how many tips we're on. But anyway, a lot of tips. Uh, so to recap, do it on gravel. Do the climb, do, sorry, do the climb on gravel or find some gravel where you can ride, ride your bike. Pick weird routes that go down dodgy roads or over railway crossings. Pick laps that aren't as popular or pick climbs that are instead of just doing one climb, do repeats. So here's another one. Most of these people would have done it on a mountain bike down this little gravel track. But actually, you can do it on a road bike perfectly fine. 38 k's an hour, 300 watts. Easy air. Everyone else is trying to do it on a mountain bike. We've got no chance. A couple of people have picked up on this, but no one has luckily taken my KOM. So those are my tips if you live in a popular area. Um, it's going to be hard to get a KOM. I only have about two or three in London. I think. Yeah, I only have two in London, so that's not great. But I've got some around, mainly in less popular locations. 
So yeah, cheers for watching. See ya.